Hello, Mike Pinocchio with Network Protocol Specialist LLC. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of setting up the three different types of auto tests. Before we get started, let's review the key objectives of this video. These are, what is an auto test? Setting up the three different types of auto tests. The three types are air quality, wired, and Wi-Fi. For this video, I'm going to use the default settings for each of these tests. In other videos, I'll go through how to adjust the settings depending on the specific environment. Next, I'll run each of the auto tests. After they get done running, we'll walk through the results and see what the tests tell us about the network. So what is an auto test? An auto test is a group of tests that are run together to help us ensure that the necessary resources are available on the network. For a wired auto test, this includes getting a link and ensuring we're connecting at the correct speed. It will make sure that power over ethernet, if available, can deliver the correct voltage and power under load. If we are expecting a DHCP server to provide us with address information, the auto test is a great way to make sure that we are getting that address and in a timely manner. In short, the auto test is a quick, repeatable way to make sure things are working properly before we connect a switch, router, client, or server to the network. Let's go ahead and set up each of the different auto tests and see what results they give us. The first step is to tap on auto test from the home screen. This will display the default auto test profile group. I can see the three different types of auto tests. I'll tap on the wired profile to see the list of tests performed by this auto test. I can tap on the gear button in the top right to configure this profile. I can enable the PoE test to conduct a loaded test up to 90 watts, or add an additional test target, such as a web server in my data center. For this example, I'll use the default settings. Just for good practice, I'll change the name. Let's call it First Wired Auto Test. Tapping the back button at the bottom of the screen will take me back to the profile group window. We'll look at the second auto test, the air quality test. This test will listen to each of the channels, measure the utilization and number of access points, and compare this to these thresholds. If the measured values are less than the thresholds, the test will pass. For this example, I'm going to use the default values. As with the wired test, I'll give this a descriptive name. The last type of auto test is the Wi-Fi profile. We can tap on the profile to see the tests that are configured. Unlike the wired profile, where we can leave everything default, with the Wi-Fi profile, I need to select an SSID. In this case, I'll select Guest 5. This is my open 5 GHz guest network. I'll give it a name and tap the back button to take me back to the profile group. Now that the test profiles are ready to be used, I'll tap on the start button at the top of the screen. As each test is running, we see a spinning circle indicating which test is running. After the test completes, the icon next to the test will turn green, yellow, or red, depending on the outcome of the test. Now that the tests have completed, let's drill into the wired test and take a look at the results. Here we can see the test completed successfully. The Etherscope was able to connect to the network at 1 gigabit per second. It connected to Studio Switch 1 on port 8. It was able to get a DHCP address, resolve a DNS address, and ping the default gateway. That's great. That's exactly what we want to see. Let's go back and take a look at the Wi-Fi auto test results. As with the wired test, everything passed. The Etherscope connected to the Guest 5 network. It's using channel 36 and connected to the MicroTIC access point. It was able to get a DHCP address, resolve a DNS name, and ping the default gateway at a response time within the default threshold set in the profile it looks like our wireless network is working as it should. Going back to the auto test profile group, 
I'll drill into the air quality test. As mentioned before, the air quality test is going to look at the channels in use, the number of access points, and the utilization on each of those channels. This information is shown for both the 2.4 and 5 GHz channels. To see the information about the 5 GHz channels, we need to scroll down by dragging the screen up. The green icon and check indicate that the air quality measured by the etherscope is within the default thresholds. In this video, I've shown how to use the basic auto tests. It is possible to add and run as many test profiles as you would like within the profile group. These test profiles can validate various VLANs, wireless networks, and test targets. Be sure to check out our other videos on how to get the most out of your etherscope and XG.